Hey sixth graders, we've got a pretty easy concept to cover today. We're going to cover, sorry, the area of a parallelogram. So let's take a look. Okay, so area of a parallelogram is base times height. Okay, so what is a parallelogram? Let's remind ourselves, a parallelogram has two sets of parallel sides. Okay, so it's this slanty rectangle or slanty square. Okay, um, and we can see that this is parallel to this. They will keep going on and on and never touch. And these two sides are parallel as well because they will go and go and go and never touch. Okay, and they will stay the same distance apart. Okay, so base times height, that sure sounds a lot like finding the area of a rectangle or a square. Well, it is. Okay, here's the tricky part of a parallelogram is we have the base, and that's the bottom, just like in a square or a rectangle, and it's obviously it's going to be the same as this, because in order for these lines and these lines to be parallel, these two need to be the same length, and these two need to be the same length. Okay, so if this is 4, I found my base, so I could take 4 times my height. Now, we have to decide, is this the height of this slanty, or is my height this. I'm going to change these. There we go. Okay. You got it, guys. You are thinking. You're thinking of your triangles, and you remember that this, where this right angle is, is actually my height. This slanted line is not my height. Okay. It's a little skewed on its length because it's slanted. Slanted is going to be a little longer than straight up and down, the most direct path. Okay, so I would take 4 times 2 to get my area of 8. Okay, so let's try a couple problems here. I've got 6, 3, and 4. Which two numbers are my base and my height? Well, you got it. You know the base because these two are the same, right? So we know it's 6 times my height. Which one is my height? Good, I'm glad you remember that right angle tells us that's the direct path. That is the height, 3. So if I multiply, I get my area of this parallelogram is 18, don't forget a label, inches squared. Or another way would be 18 square inches. Either way is okay. Okay, let's look at this one. I've got a base of... Yes, you're right. These two are the same, so my base is 10. What is my height, guys? There it is. It's not in there, but we know it's this straight up and down. It's this 6. 10 times 6. Well, this is an easy one. You're right. We put the 0. We take 6 times 1. 6. Ooh, we need a label. Okay, so our area is... 60 centimeters squared or 60 square centimeters. Either way to label it is fine as long as it has that square in it. Okay, sixth graders, so the area of a parallelogram, remember a parallelogram has two sets of parallel sides. Two sets of parallel sides. That means they're never going to touch. If they continue on, they're going to stay the same distance. So it's base times height. We know base is bottom. Height is where we can get that right angle, okay? So height is not the slanted. It's this right one with a right angle. So base times the height, and you've got your answer. All right, sixth graders, good luck. We'll see you next time.